Governor Ralph Northam has less than a month left in office, and after four years on the job, he says he's looking back at the highs and lows of his term. He sat down with our Cameron Thompson today to talk about that, as well as what's next for him. It's uh, been a tremendous privilege to, to serve as governor. With only weeks remaining in his term, Virginia Governor Ralph Northam says it's a position a younger version of himself never would have dreamed of. To you know get to this level and be in charge of 8.5 million uh, Virginians, it's, it's uh, you know, kind of surreal. It was a governorship filled with highs and lows and a global pandemic. Looking back, Northam says among his biggest accomplishments include the expansion of Medicaid, landing Amazon's second headquarters, and being named the best state for business multiple times. And I've had some really good meetings uh, with Governor-elect Yunkin. I think you'll have a great opportunity to build on the success that we've made. He also points to criminal justice reform like repealing the death penalty and legalizing recreational marijuana use. Reforms he admits stem from in part what he went through in 2019. That was a, a very uh, difficult time for Virginians. That was when it was revealed his medical school yearbook had a photo of a person in blackface and another in a KKK robe. Northam at first admitted he was in the photo but then said it wasn't him. While facing calls to resign, Northam says he chose not to and went on a listening tour, turning what he heard into priorities. Not only is Virginia uh, in a better place, but I'm a better person as well. And so again, I just I thank Virginians for sticking with me. Another challenge was the COVID-19 pandemic. Early issues included not enough PPE or tests and then the slow rollout of the vaccine. But Northam says he feels the administration has done a good job and that's there's still plenty of virus out there with Omicron now the dominant strain. We need to make sure to encourage people to get vaccinated and, and get booster shots keep our distance, wear a mask, wash our hands. The pandemic also brought the Virginia Employment Commission to the forefront with criticism from the public, a federal judge and a government watchdog. Northam says they did as well as could be expected. It's a system that was overwhelmed and and you know, I, I, I commend them for, for doing the work they've done. Recently, Northam also faced criticism for pardons he's issued, including for Rusty Max killer Blair Dacey, only seven years into a 20 year sentence. He says he's issued 700 during his term and expects to issue more before it ends. He adds he feels for the victim's families in all cases and believes people should be punished, but also being given a second chance. It's a very deliberate process. I think through these in a lot of detail. In the end, Northam says he hopes Virginians will look back at his term as one of leaving Virginia in a better place than it was four years ago. He also says that while you can never say never, he has no intentions of running for political office again. He says in the near term, he plans to resume practice as a pediatric neurologist just two days after inauguration.